Alabama could have a new congressional map by the end of the day. A federal appeals court recently ordered a redrawing of Alabama's congressional map after finding it violated the Voting Rights Act. Well, today, judges heard final arguments on three maps proposed by a special master. Political reporter Aaron Davis has more on the looming decision. Parties had one last chance to advise federal judges on which congressional map to pick. The state, along with the Alabama Democratic Conference, did not support a particular plan. The Alabama Democratic Conference does not believe that either of those districts has enough black folk in it to win. Those who favor a new map were split between options one and three. There is a community of interest that exists between Pritchard, Chickasaw, and Mobile, uh, that they're a part of the Black Belt in some significant ways. Plan one is the only plan uh, that fully connects those communities in a way that we think makes sense. However, map three gives us an opportunity, uh, and we believe that map three will likely be the map chosen by the three-judge panel. Plaintiff Evan Milligan says they will be happy with whatever map the court chooses. We didn't do all of this work to then go into the election cycle and sit at home. We need people to go out and register to vote, to show up to vote. A new congressional map potentially means a new representative for the 2nd Congressional District. State Senator Marika Coleman represents parts of Jefferson County back here. She says she's considering putting herself in the running. And it's more about the passion that a person has, the passion for people, understanding the district itself, and less about where you live. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Birmingham. If not decided tonight, the court is expected to pick a map this week. It's important to note the map chosen will be used in the 2024 elections regardless of whether the case is appealed.